Explained by the Billy Meyer contacts. Mysteries, myths, legends, conspiracy theories, historical inaccuracies, and more. Compiled by David Chance, revised October 18, 2023. Agatha Agatha Shigets, see also Hyperborea, a Hyperboreans, see also Mu Lost Continent. Contact Report 039. But in connection with the Hyperboreans, I still come to another question, namely about the legendary Akarta. Are you also oriented about this, and can you give me more details about it? To my knowledge, the humanity of Earth still lives in error regarding the name of Agartha. In general, it is still erroneously called Agharti. You forget that I was in India and in the Himalayas for a long time, and also encountered the blue human beings. Unfortunately, I cannot give you exhaustive information in an open form, because certain things still have to remain confidential. However, this much may be said, that in the vicinity of Shigatse and Shampula, note, this may be a reference to Shambhala, is the underground realm of Agharta, the capital and center of distant descendants of extraterrestrials on the Earth. This is the center of the actual secrets that hold a gigantic power in themselves. This city is controlled by the race of the Sons of the Sun. But unfortunately, a tendency toward earthly world domination also prevails with this race, just like with certain earthly religions and secret societies. I may not explain anything else about it openly. Contact Report 051 Throughout the time I spent at Ashoka Ashram, I often witnessed blue-skinned visitors who sought out my venerable teacher, and who inexplicably just appeared and disappeared. These blue-skinned human beings came from the underground city of Agartha, located in the Himalayan mountains, which was originally founded by extraterrestrials, and is now inhabited by their descendants. Contact Report 055 Great Atlantis was destroyed and sank into the sea through war feuds with the inhabitants of Mu, which lay in the Chinese Gobi Desert. But Mu was also destroyed and ceased to exist, leaving only the underground city of Agartha. Mu had been a land, and likewise the capital. Mu was a country like any other. However, the city on the surface and the underground city of Agartha, each ruled by a man and a woman, were created by extraterrestrials. Neither the country nor the cities were of special importance, except that they had been built and inhabited by extraterrestrials from the Lyra system and also destroyed again. Contact Report 057 Agartha is built very deep in the earth in two parts, each in a size of the city you call Zurich, I. E. The Agartha under the Gobi Desert is about one-six smaller than Zurich, while its satellite city is about one-four smaller. Both cities are called Agartha, but have the additional names Alpha and Beta. Agartha Alpha is located several thousand meters below the surface of the Gobi Desert but I am not allowed to give the exact location. Agartha Beta is also underground, but is located below the Himalayas. Agartha Beta includes, besides the city itself, a huge area of cave systems which are almost uninhabited today, but were inhabited by subordinate human beings at that time. The cave systems were the actual dwelling places of the people, while Agartha Beta was the administrative center, which in turn was under the higher command of Agartha Alpha, which stood as the absolute center of the two Agarthas. Both cities were connected by a 200-foot wide and 130-foot high underground tunnel, which corresponds to a size of 65 pa 40 meters, which is not very exactly expressed by me. However, the connecting tunnel was almost completely destroyed and not repaired during the Great Catastrophe of Gobi. Today, for example, there is only a narrow connecting corridor, which makes weak traffic possible. So Askit told me. 
But now there is a man regarding Agarda whose name I have unfortunately forgotten, who has been appearing here and there for about 10 or 15 years, claiming that he is the lord of the world and the supreme boss of Agarda. What do you think of that? The existence of this man is unknown to me, but it is clear that he is a fraud. The residents of Agarda would never go out to the world in public, because there are neither reasons nor interests. On the other hand, this would be far too dangerous for him, but also for Agarda itself and its inhabitants. Contact Report 070 Named after Eris II, the India of today was at that time called Aryan, which, however, split off from Hyperborea after a few centuries, after 210 years, to be exact, and joined with the inhabitants of Mu and Agartha, while from Hyperborea, Aris I constantly troubled Mu and Greater Atlantis by wicked war activities in order to become their ruler.